Welcome to Pest Vlog. One bed bug, two bed bugs, three bed bugs. Well, this is just ridiculous. DFTBA, today is February 4th, 2013. Let's start today's vlog with What's an interesting tweet? Today's interesting tweet is a two-part discussion we will be having between today's and next vlog's show. From at FMC Bedbug, they tweet, Why not to use DIY bedbug treatments? That's right, ladies and gentlemen, DIY or do-it-yourself bedbug treatments may be more of a hassle than a hero. In today's economy, we all look for ways to save money when we can. DIY is usually a pretty helpful way of making this happen. However... FMC Bedbug talks about a 10 reason list that details out exactly why you will not save money, time, or the pain in the neck. Let's discuss the first five today. Number one, buying your own products. Overall, you'll spend more money on DIY products than you think. Things can get really expensive after products consistently fail. Bedbug treatments are difficult to control. We professionals know what it takes. Number two, quick response and action. Would you rather deal with a few bed bugs or a few dozen? Bed bugs reproduce quickly under even low conditions. One small problem can become one big headache. Number three, chemical safety. Chemicals can be dangerous. Improper chemical use can lead to health issues. Let us professionals do the work. Number four, baby or nymph bed bugs. Bed bug ghosts, not literally, but newborn bed bugs are clear as water and can be hard to see. DIY treatments can easily pass these guys up. Number five, sharing bed bugs with others. Your treatments may be working, but is it at the cost of your neighbor? Sharing walls also means sharing pest problems. Of these five, I stress that number three, chemical safety is our biggest concern as pest professionals. We want everybody to be pest free, but not at the cost of you or your family's health. PMPs like me are licensed and trained to handle, mix, and apply chemicals safely and effectively. Let me say that again, safely and effectively. Don't put your family at risk. Call a professional. If you're still not convinced on why DIY is not the way to go for bed bug treatments, next vlog we will continue FMC Bed Bug's 10 reason list on why bed bug treatments, DIY style, are not the way to go. Today's topic is a small snippet about bark scorpions, the predators of the desert night. During the day, scorpions are not very active. In fact, this is the time they're the least active. They spend their time in palm trees, under rocks, stones, shrubs, and in other cooler humid areas. So watch your hands when you're flipping old or unused outside stuff over. When the sun sets, however, an entirely different behavior is exhibited. Prey for these hungry bark scorpions is anything but easy to catch, although it is pretty easy to find. Like the bark scorpion, crickets, cockroaches, and other bugs are most active at night. This means dinner time for all bark scorpions, however, if they can catch them. As far as stings are concerned, the bark scorpion has one of the deadliest in the country. But for having such a venomous sting as its strong point, its claws are weak sauce. It's because of these small, weak claws that makes the scorpion a commonly unsuccessful hunter. But even still, you have to consider the toxicity of that venom. I hope you enjoyed our new pest vlog, part two of our interesting tweet to come, and more pest control information. Insert name, I'll see you soon. And as always, don't forget to be awesome. If you like the vlog or you have ideas for future vlogs, post me a comment in the comments below, or check me out on these social media sites.